Broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good afternoon, everyone. Wanted to come together today uh, to do a webinar. This one is the first one that you're going to receive in the next day or so. Let me preface it that way. This one is on lit and us testing and doing our sampling of water to make sure that we are meeting our new license regulation regarding lead and water. So just want to go over a few points for you today, making sure that everybody is aware of the process that Department of Family and Support Services, Children's Services Division has put together in order to support you. I am Sarathel Burgess Burnett, your Deputy Commissioner I'm here at Children's Services Division, and I have with me. Hello, I'm B. Nichols, Director of Operations. And so what we wanted to do today is make sure that we go over a couple of points regarding what we're doing in order to support you and making sure that you are prepping yourself and ready to receive technicians in your sites. And so let's go ahead and get into some of the points we want to cover. And I think we need to emphasize that tomorrow is going to begin. So what we're doing is we've worked with Globe Trotters, who you have seen in your facilities before coming in doing health and safety inspections. So we've worked with them to develop a process so that they can come into your sites and actually do the sampling right there. Let me say this, this is what's being done and supported by Department of Family and Support Services, and it is no cost to you as a delegate or an agency. All of these are funds that we're using in-house through our, our funding in order to support you because of how important this particular work is for all of you and for the health and safety of children. So to B's point, this is going to actually start tomorrow, Thursday, February 14th. What we've decided to do is to go through our delegates and partners in alpha order. And so by the luck of the draw, Ada S. McKinley, will be one of our first that gets their sampling done. We do know that many of you have already uploaded into COPA as we requested information on your testing. No, right now we are reviewing the documents that you have uploaded, looking at them to see whether or not there's any concerns from what we're viewing. I will say to you that the company that we're working with, both Globe Trotters, and you'll get more information on the second one, which is 120 Water Audit, as we're reviewing your documents, if we have questions, we're actually going to be asking them for support, making sure that we're not missing anything in your documentation. Because again, it's critical that we meet what is embedded in the licensing standard and that all testing has been done and supported the way that is required. What we have done is again, we've contracted with Globetrotters who will be sending technicians into sites. They will need to come in as early as 4 a.m to 6 a.m. They need to come in after water has been off because they need to test it during what's called the stagnation period. So they will need access to your facilities, someone letting them in making sure that you can show them exactly where every potable water source is, bathrooms, kitchens, water heaters, coolers, refrigeration, if you have a refrigerator that has a water um, or ice compartment on it. Please understand these are all the necessary places that they will need to do sampling. The sample kits are going to be shipped to sites. Once they are shipped, they are ready based on the number of faucets that Globetrotters understands that they will need to have the technician sample while there. Those samples will then be sent off to certified labs, those labs that have been identified within the licensing standard. And so all of these things have been worked on to make sure that not only will you meet licensing standards, but we will know that you've met licensing standard with this very critical element. Understand once the sample comes back, we will know whether or not any water has tested above the threshold of 2.0 parts per billion. Any faucet, any point of water source that comes back will need to be retested. It may need to be taken offline. There are different things that will need to be done. Globetrotters will be able to work with your sites to talk about exactly what the needs are based on what has come back from the water test sample uh, that's been sent off to the lab. As it says on the slide, it could be something as simple as us giving to you two water filters, two water pictures, excuse me, with filters that can be used in the interim. 
It also could mean some other things such as, as it says here on the slide, taking a faucet offline, meaning we've decided that because of the level of lead that has been determined in that particular faucet, you should not be using that for water prep, for food, for any access to children, and it needs to be taken offline. Or it could mean that a faucet needs to be replaced. All of these different things will be discussed in your remediation plan. We will stay in communication with all of our sites and delegates as we walk through this process. B is the lead for this particular process here at Department of Family and Support Services. Of course, others are supporting, including your monitoring teams. What we wanted to do today is make sure that you understand that we're beginning this process as of tomorrow, February 14th, and we'll continue this through the next 30 days to 45 days, making sure that we meet the deadline of May 1. All testing has to be done by the licensing standard that has been updated, which you can find on the Sunshine website. All lead is required to be done by May 1, 2019. So anyone who has not had their lead tested at a site that we fund, understand we will be sending technicians to your site. Again, I'm going to summarize some of the other points. Going back, we need to be there between 4 a.m. and 6 a.m., so we need staff available to open the site to walk through with the technician, identifying all of the potable water sources, making sure that they can get in and can get out as quickly as possible because they will be doing more than one site per day. Please understand that we want everybody to be on board with this. We're asking everybody to work with us as we go through this process and ex give accessibility to the technicians. If you have questions, B is available as always. If you need me, I am available as well. But we do need everybody to work with us so that we can get through this process as quickly as possible. We have over 300 sites that we're trying to get tested in what feels like a really short period of time to me. Um, they are assuring us with the number of technicians that they'll be able to meet the deadline. But in order for us to do that, we will need each of you to work with us. As we find out where you are on the list, you will be communicated with. Globe Trotters will be reaching out to you, setting up times for them to come into your sites. But again, if you make a scheduled appointment, we need you to hold to that scheduled appointment. Once the technicians are there, they're there to do your testing, to get everything done on your behalf. Right now, what I want to say is if you have questions regarding lead testing, we are, as always, available. Please send me an email if you have a question after this uh, webinar, once you review it. Because again, we are starting tomorrow morning. We've already reached out to Ada S. McKinley, so we thank you already, Ada S., Kurt, for saying yes and working with us to get you started down this path. And we will be communicating with others as well, letting you know where you are as far as next in line. So you are going to be communicated with by both Department of Family and Support Services and also through Globetrotters. So again, let me just first say thank you for working with us to get this done. Again, what we wanted to do was assist you. We know how tedious this process is. We have worked through the process to make sure we have people who can come in hand in hand with us to make sure that we're able to meet this very critical licensing standard. So again, thank you for spending a moment reviewing this webinar. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. We're available. So have a great day, everyone.